Welcome to day 2 of this epic India Pakistan test series. We are in the third test right now. On day 2, I don't know who's ahead. I think Pakistan is definitely at least a little ahead. We are at 219 for 8. And look at that run rate 2.46. We struggle throughout day 1. Let's see if it gets any better. Another 50 runs here would be awesome. Driven down and that will be our first run for the day. Hopefully we can at least bat for one session but that's highly unlikely though. Full, oh, I saw a full toss try to hit it over extra cover and that's all I could do inside is thankfully it doesn't go back onto the off stump. Forget about hitting sixes, even boundaries have been very very rare in this test match. Mohamed Shami on 0 of 6. Let's see how much longer we can hang on. He gives me a half volley punch through extra cover and we will get 2 runs. That's what we've been doing for the last 90 overs. Just running and running. That was a proper tail and a shot. Run away from the ball. Flicked away from mid on and we'll sneak through for a single. Maybe I should start a little bit of an attack here. 21 balls, 3 runs. That is a near perfect innings that almost ended there. That was a peach. 4 fielders at the deep for the man set at the crease. Shot pulled away. Can we come back for 2? Throws to the wrong end but still no time to come back for 2. What was that? I cancelled the run like 10 seconds ago. That should have never been a run out. And what was he even doing? Yeah, exactly. Didn't even try to ground the bat. He was trying to get into the crease with his leg. And because of that, we lose the ninth wicket. Now we're just one wicket away. I might just as well start swinging and try to hit a few runs. And that has lasted exactly one ball. Tried to hit a six and got out on the very first attempt. Well, we are all out for 226. Well, that will be the end of our innings. Hopefully, it's enough. If we can get them all out on day two itself, it should be. Oh, we scored 235. Not bad. All they really need to do is bat one and a half days and score at a somewhat good run rate. And they will be in a very good position. They just cannot bat like us and score like two and a half runs every over. Tries to punch it off the back foot and the very first ball goes in between second slip and the keeper. We could have got our first one right there. And out swinger swings just a little bit. Now I think I need a first slip. We have a first slip and a third slip. Hopefully it doesn't go in between the gap between those two. Edged. And of the third ball, we'll get our wicket. That was quick. Once again, he's trying to smash it. This one was a little fuller. But it goes straight to first slip. Just made that change. A ball ago. And it will pay off first wicket of the first over. What a start this has been. Oh, how close was that? Missed that completely. Goes over the leg stump. Pakistan have added only 4 runs and that too came off an edge. So it has been a struggle that is not looking like it's gonna stop. We were struggling exactly like this when we were banding but at least we managed to add 230. Well, Shahan Masood has had enough and he's gone over point, a chip shot. Easily done, too full, too much room. That will be the first runs of the middle of the bat. Flicked. And it's gone in between those two fielders but I think it'll still only be two. We don't even have a point fielder. We have gone with a very attacking field. A Kali to slips. And he is taking us on another chip shot over the infield. As easy as you like. I mean why bother even playing shots along the ground? There's no one at the deep. Everyone is close to the bat. 
Oh, that ball swung and swung straight into first lip's hands. Didn't even go to the keeper, that went straight to first lip. An outswinger angled out. This time plays a shot along the ground. So it's gonna be a chase, but it will go for four. Cover drive, I think I scored two boundaries of cover drives, that's it. Oh, that might be the best ball we have bowled so far, too good, too good to even get the outside edge. The ball isn't swinging a lot, but it is moving just a little bit. But we just cannot seem to find the outside edge, at least after the first wicket. Pulled it and once again finds that gap. I don't know how they managed to hit it in such a tiny gap. We'll bring on spin for the first time in the 10th over. Hopefully it works out. It did work for them. Toss start tries to drive and a good start. Now that was not a great ball but he has... Absolutely smacked it through mid wicket. We cannot be bowling bad balls at all. Everything has got to be on the money, or this is what's gonna happen. Outside the leg stump and just smacked in the air. 10 overs gone 34 for one, so they're scoring at a good rate. Have recovered after that first wicket. We need a wicket ASAP, and he is just playing shots in the air every single time. Both batsmen are actually, they're not playing along the ground a lot at all. With no point fielder, that's just flying away. And beat the outside edge once again. Driven shots along the ground have become very rare. But they're still getting the same result. When we were batting, this was not happening at all. But now Pakistan are actually looking good. Now that ball deserved to be punished. Toss stop. Way too much. Over pitched. Easy as you like. Driven away. Come on, we need a wicket now. This is too much. This partnership is growing. We do not have a lot of runs on the board either. Another smack. This was not a drive. This was a proper smack. Got the outside edge and that is gone. That was a very weird wicket. I think it came off the shoulder of the bat. But we'll get the second wicket nonetheless. Finally, it was looking like they were just never going to get out. I don't know what that was, but still take it. Now Babar Azam comes in. 14.4 overs. They're actually not in a bad position at all. Still trailing by 184 though. Oh, he's gone... On his very first ball, he's missed a straight delivery and Babar Azim's horrible series continues. Goes for a golden duck and now we are back into this match once again. Look at that, that ball was not anything special. A slider and it almost ended up being a yorker. Goes underneath the bat and gets the middle stump. Well, now we are on a hat trick so I'll have to... Go with a super aggressive field and hopefully we can get one hat trick in a test match. That is going to be very special. Short leg, silly point, two slips. Come on, go to someone's hands. Ah, punches it off the back foot and another hat trick attempt goes in vain. Licked. Another shot in the air. I don't know how they're hitting it away from that fielder. Every time it's inches away from short mid wicket or short cover and it just goes for four. I don't know. Maybe we should uh, keep someone in the deep. This time short and wide. That has been hit as well. Anything outside of a proper delivery and we are getting smacked. Short and wide. That's going for four. On the legs. That's going for four. Another ship shot, this time not timed too well, but it's not going to matter. Everyone is standing so close to the batsman. LBW appeal, but I think he's managed to get his pads outside the line. 
Oh, that is all class. This might be one of the best shots. But the problem is, he's playing against us. We cannot sit and appreciate. We'll have to get him out. He is playing his own version of pass ball here. Scoring somewhat quickly. Walks across. I mean, these guys have forgotten this is a test match. Playing all kinds of shots to all different directions. Finally, the leg slip fielder comes to use. Another cover drive. Yeah, that is 50 for him of 73 deliveries. This has been a very attacking innings. 10 fours, really? They scored almost half the number of runs and this shot has somehow become their favorite. Just chip it over everyone's heads. I don't even know why they're running. Oh, now they're trying for full on lofted shots. This time the ball was a googly pitches and turns the other way and almost gets the leg stump. Look at that giant crank in the middle, exactly in front of the middle stump. A cover drive this time against a fast bowler. I don't know what my short cover fielder is doing. Usually they stop these. Oh, he's pulled it back in. Well done, man. Saved one run there. They're only scoring at 3.44, but almost every single one of their runs has come off a boundary. Singles and doubles have been very rare. It's all this. All smacks through the offside, even outside edges are flying away. How close was that? Maybe that's out. The ball deviated a lot. The umpire doesn't think so. Super tossed up. And once again, he's absolutely tried to belt it for six. It was nowhere near the bat. Well, the very next ball, this time just a little bit fuller. He tries to play it off the back foot and look at that for turn. That turns square and gets the middle. So finally, we stop him 59 of 83 and 11 fours for the innings. That was very entertaining unless you are the bowler. Another one gone. This was a proper full toss. He's tried to hit it again. Inside edge. Pakistan, almost every single one of them have gotten out trying to absolutely belt the ball. We are now climbing our way back into this match. They still trail by 125 runs. Five wickets in hand, but they've lost almost all of their batsmen. Lead of even 30 runs would be awesome here. But they're still continuing the attack. Now that's a proper one day shot. Walks across, flicks it away. I think I need to keep another fielder at the deep. But I don't know from where. We still need those slip fielders. Another walk across. And played it through the leg side. For a second I thought it was going to someone's hands. I'm just going to appeal for everything. Go on, give me something. Ha. <laughs> he, I mean, that shot, it looked like he was playing a shot in the nets against someone who doesn't even know how to bowl. There's no effort there. Just lift it and that ball just flies away. How close was that? We had a leg slip for a while. Maybe it would have gone straight to him. Oh, just off the hips. No one at the deep. I didn't think he would find that gap. He does. Again, very close to the outside edge. That is the 15th time we managed to beat the outside edge and not get them out. Cut. Well stopped. That was four for sure, but it'll end up just one. Another inside edge. Maybe we need a leg slip. Flicked. And away from deep backward square leg as well. And finally an inside edge goes back onto the stump after five or six. Inside edges that went inches away 
This time it goes back onto the off stump. Go back to pace for a while. It has been mostly spin, but still like pole 15 or 16 overs of pace. This is going away as well. If we wrap them under 200, we'll have a lead of 30. That would be awesome. That's our goal from here. Another outside edge. I need another slip fielder. I need someone at fifth slip. Even though the ball is not swinging at all. Look at that ball. It looks like a thousand over old ball. Oh, finally. A chip shot. He once again tries to hit it over short cover. And finally, it doesn't go over his head. Instead, it goes straight to him. How many times have we seen that exact same shot go for four? But finally, we'll have the last laugh. They still trail by 63, only three wickets in hand. This lead might end up being a lot more, I mean, imagine a lead of 50. A lot of slip fielders, not a lot of fielders on the leg side. I just have to try to angle it away from him and do exactly that. But the ball must carry to the slip fielders. What was that shot? And another play and a miss. I'm either going for really flighted deliveries or quick deliveries at the stump. Misses it, but this time it's going down the leg side. I'm gonna review it. But I mean, this was just not out. But we have three reviews left. And why not just use them? Of course, it's going down the leg side. What is he even doing? Nudged away. And that will be away from that fielder. So, I mean, that deep backward fielder is almost useless. I need someone at fine leg. Why does he look like Shoaib Malik? 178. Once again, this partnership is growing. That should have been out. That should have been cotton ball. That ball came back at such slow speeds. It was at the right height. Not even that far away, was it? Oh, come on. That should have been taken. Swept. And of course, there's just no one there. That fielder is running left and right and stopping absolutely nothing. Inside out, finally a shot that they don't time perfectly. But even that won't go to anyone's hands. Because everyone is just so close. And then another player miss. This might be the luckiest innings you'll ever see. Punched down, the umpire, look at those reflexes, he ducked down like a punch from Mike Tyson was coming at his face. That's four as well. What was that? A shot from number nine, a picture perfect on drive, it doesn't go for four, but that was a shot of high class. Now an inside out drive. This has been a very frustrating innings because even with some good fields, they just seem to find the gaps every single time. And Salman Ali will get to 50 of 70 as well. Everyone is scoring at least at a strike rate of 60 or 70 sometimes even. And that might be the best shot we've seen all day. I mean, that deserved four, man. Why are you even stopping it? That's the shot of the day. 3 of 22. And his lucky stay continues. <laughs> what was that ball? What was that shot? Why am I even appealing? He got the edge, I think. But we don't have a leg slip fielder. Now they trail by only 36. This partnership has been invaluable. He's tried to get out every way possible. But it's just not happening. Cut. Finally manages to get some bat on a ball outside the off stump. He's been playing and missing, playing and missing. And finally manages to get some bat on it. And there we go. Back to form. Back to playing and missing. Shot. That was, I think, the second bouncer of the whole day. And for a second it was looking like it was going to short fine leg. I'm still scoring at a run rate of 3.36. Oh, that is such a good shot. On drive against a spinner. 
All these amazing shots are coming out at the end of day's play. And there, I mean, this is too much. How many times can one batsman play and miss? Hits it in the air. Away from everyone, of course. And even that will just roll away. Swept. Hit. And Superman, what a catch that was. That's what it took. After so many plays and misses, after so many shots in the air that didn't go to anyone. Look at that for a catch. That's what it took. And there we go, another one. Once again, let's try to chip it over short cover and now they are falling quickly. Now just one wicket away. This was too full as well. Inside edge, Salman Ali. That's gone. That is gone. Off the inside edge onto the pad. What was that? I mean, usually umpires don't give out wrong decisions for caught behinds. It was nowhere near the bat. Off the pad it went. Punch down. Salman Ali has turned into Sachin Tendulkar with all these shots down the ground. Back foot drives, on drives. The poor guy gets out at 85 but we'll take it. It was still not a clean wicket. Off the bat maybe, then onto the body, then rolls back onto the middle stump. But that will be the end of Pakistan's innings. They have a slight lead of 13 runs. But it's not much. I mean we are back, right back to where we were on day 1, session 1. The match is completely even. Pakistan just a tiny bit ahead with their 13 run lead. We maybe have two overs left on day two. I'm just going to do the impossible of making sure Shaheen Shah doesn't get a wicket off his first over. I'm going to try to leave everything and hopefully he doesn't bowl at the stumps. And there you go. Keep bowling there. I'm tired of edging every ball to slips. And that too in the very first over, we are always at 0 for 1 after the first over. Hopefully changes, there we go, no need to play that either, 4 leaves in a row. And that will be away from the body as well, we managed to negotiate 5 balls, just 1 ball to go. And we'll be at 0 for 0 after the first over. Which has not happened in the last three innings. There we go. One over gone. Zero for zero. We might have another two overs left. And we actually don't. We just came out for that one over. And as I said at the end of day two. This test match is right where it was when it began. Both teams going neck and neck. Pakistan of course with their lead of 13 runs a little ahead. We didn't get to see the ever exciting Pakistan bowling attack but click the video on screen to see them at their best. For now like, comment and subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.